the first person said introducing Miles to the MCU would be so dumb if there ain't a massive time skip between No Way Home and the Miles Morales movie. And then um, the other guy said Spider Man Homecoming took place in 2016. Uncle Aaron was talking to Miles on the phone. The MCU is currently taking place nine years after Homecoming. So, and then the other guy uh, combated him and said, by the end of Spider-Man No Way Home, Peter had just graduated high school and was about to start college, which makes him 17 to 18, so it makes absolutely zero sense. Uh-huh. And then uh, he came back in and said, to introduce Miles as a new Spider-Man when Peter himself has only been Spider-Man for about two years. But the, oh, yeah. But the other guy came back and he said, Tom has been Spider-Man for five years, not including the blip. And it makes sense for a slightly younger Miles to uh, be about a freshman at this time. Because in Earth 6 and 10, he became a freshman. And we don't know in uh, the MCU timeline if Miles blipped. Because if he did blip, then he would remain the same age and be uh, relatively younger. Yeah. So but, it would still take a lot of time. Right. And if he didn't, he'd be older. He'd be older, which would make more sense because mm-hmm. now we're getting in the MCU an older uh, Peter Parker, Tom Holland. Right. So the other guy, he just wasn't accepting it. So he said, they're both children and you can't have children teaching children, which is why uh, at least a five a three to five year time skip has to happen if you want to introduce him. Even so. That's if they want to introduce him soon. That's if they want to introduce him in the MCU. He yes. also, and right, right. he also added to it as, even so, you can't have a teenager teaching another teenager how to be a hero, uh, himself. He says, just started the process of actually being Spider-Man without help from Tony and the other Avengers. Why put Miles under his wing now? And then his the other guy's last statement said, Tom Spidey is on his own. He isn't relying on anyone. He has responsibilities himself. He may only be 18, but he's got the adult mindset. He's been humbled. What do you think? Okay, so... It was a good argument. The next Spider-Man movie that we're getting with Tom Holland isn't until, like, a couple years. Like, 20 That's or 25. One. They never said we're getting a Miles Morales live action soon. They just said, hey, we're going to work on a Miles Morales live action movie. There's no date. There's no date. It could be as planned as... After Secret Wars or during Secret Wars, which comes out in 2026. So it's like, we're not talking about the now. We're not talking about bringing in a Miles now. They're talking about bringing in Miles at some point. Yeah. So it's like, we don't need a time jump. We don't need for there to be uh, a young Spider-Man taking care of a young Miles or like a Miles as close to his freaking age. It's like, it's not, that's not what the argument is. It's yeah. just... How will it work? Will it be the Miles that's in this universe or from another universe? Will it be Miles from uh, the cartoon movies? So it's like, again, we are getting a a live action Miles at some point. It's just not going to be soon. And my guess is either going to be during Secret Wars or after Secret Wars. Or slightly. When it's necessary for Spider-Man to be a mentor. a, A mentor, yeah. Old enough, veteran, seasoned. On his own, you know, knowing the ropes. Yeah. So it's like, it's not it's not something to, to think about for the next Spider-Man movie. So it's like, right. I think that argument was could have been <laughs> I think avoided. more so, they were arguing for the, if it happened right now. Right. So, so they, they were just, arguing for, just, if it happens right now, it's dumb. Which is just, yeah, it's just redundant. Yeah, it is redundant. Well, the guy's argument, um, who initially started it by saying introducing Miles and MC would be dumb, was arguing if it happened right now. Right. Which, it mean, it, he, there would have been a valid statement to make if they were coming out with the Miles Morales movie next year. Right. Then we would have been like, okay, yeah, it is pretty dumb. But, there's no confirmed dates. There's not even a confirmed date on Spider-Man 4. Right. Right. So... With all that being said, if we wait, let's say Spider-Man 4 comes out the same year as Secret Wars, but like three or four months before, mm-hmm. then it would make sense because you got to think, we left off on him, like he said, graduating, so uh, Peter Parker's 18, that's a three-year time skip, he's 21, 22 at the time, Miles is probably 15, 16 years old, that's a pretty good age gap. Right. So I think it would make sense. And like we've pointed out, um, and like I pointed out, uh, links down in the description for that video specifically, uh, MCU Spider-Man and Insomniac Spider-Man's stories are 
relatively similar or there's a lot of similarities right so it does make sense for a miles to just be like already be in the mcu because it's been confirmed that he's been in the mcu and that be the spider-man because it's just so close to the insomniac spider-man that i feel like the insomniac spider-man is just progressing its story further because if you think about it the insomniac spider-man he fit all of tom holland's movies into one game and obviously changed up the story a little bit with its own style you know with all the situations that you know tom holland spider-man dealt with um the marvel spider-man the insomniac spider-man kind of dealt with it uh the same situations obviously different Mm -hmm. so i feel like when this marvel spider-man game comes out you know because they're having venom that's when Spider-Man 4 comes out, and then that's when he'll uh, introduce Venom for Tom Holland. Because when we left off on uh, Spider-Man No Way Home's end credit scene, the Venom symbiote's there. Right. So it's already there. Mm-hmm. I got another theory. All right. So, Sony's been making their own little Spider-Man universe without a Spider-Man. What if now, since they announced a live action Miles Morales, what if that's the Spider Man that they're going to be dealing with? Oh. It doesn't make sense to me it because yeah. it would work out if it's like in Andrew's universe or something like that. And it's Andrew's, the only way. and Andrew's like the mentor, or even like I would say Raimi's universe, but it's just it wouldn't work out. But if it was Andrew's universe, it would make a lot of sense, and they can reintroduce Andrew back in, you know, to cinema or whatever, and you know, they could even just do Spider Man three, and then introduce Miles that way or something like that. Like Tasm three. But yeah. They they don't even have to call it Tasm three. They can just call it something else. Yeah, because like I said, they don't have a Spider Man technically, but there's a Spider Man that exists apparently in Morbius, like. I don't. I don't understand because they fucked up the whole multiverse logic in Morbius. Right. Because um, Vulture during the Doctor Strange thing, apparently Vulture got sent back, but to a different Earth where he's free, mm-hmm. and he's an uh, innocent person because he got let out of prison. Right. And then he's he goes to Morbius and says, uh, "I know what you want. You want Spider Man." And apparently Morbius knows Spider Man. But that's the thing is like you never encountered Spider Man this whole time. Why would you certain suddenly agree to beef with someone named Spider Man? And again, with the whole there's a painting of Spider Man in one of the alleys that Morbius is walking through. So it's like there's a Spider Man there, but who is it? Where where is this set? So it's like it's not MCU because apparently Morbius movie, you know. Is its own universe. Is its own universe, because. But also, what didn't make sense is that if you watch the Morbius movie, that uh, clip of Spider-Man in the background was in the trailer. It wasn't in the movie. Right, that is true. So it's like, did they do that just for? Money and they put the wrong Spider-Man, apparently. Yeah, it was Raimi's Spider-Man. But it was Raimi's Spider-Man in, clipped out from the video game, actually the the new Spider-Man video game. Yeah. yeah. So, and when you're playing the game and there's like a loading screen, it's, it just, it'll just show like Spider-Man in some pose or whatever. Yeah. So it was that skin in the game on that pose screen. So there is like a, just a big fucking fuck up there already. There's a massive one. It still <laughs> doesn't make sense to me. I think the Sony universe, the Sony Spider-Verse. Spider-Villain-Verse. Spider-Villain-Verse. <laughs> I'll just say the Sinister Six-Verse. Yeah. Basically. is very messed up because yeah. now Vulture's not in the MCU. Here's why I said it was weird though, and it, and it would have to be in Andrew's universe is because Andrew's timeline is at least close to you know a comic accurate Peter Parker Spider Man. At least with like you know the villains having their you know same name, same occupation, same this that and the other. Whereas in Miles' is a universe in sixteen ten, it's like flip flopped like Doc Ock is a woman yeah. um uh Green Goblin's a giant like goblin. A goblin yeah you know stuff like that it's they're they're changed in different ways but in Andrew's universe at least the the villains are you know close like I said close to comic accurate so 
with these villain movies, we're getting close to comic accurate in that way of, you know, it's the same name, same occupation, same, um, same, um, powers and everything and you know look same they're not great movies but you know like i said they're close to comic accurate in that in that sense so it's like it would have to be in a spider-man universe where they're close where that spider-man is close to comic accurate at least because uh where miles come from obviously um they're different but again video game says otherwise because in the video game he's in the shared universe with spider-man who also has comic accurate uh, villains and story and people like Mary Jane and shit like that. This goes back to the uh, Across the Spider Verse, right? Mm-hmm. They show um, everybody's shown in there for a reason, but it's always uh, Captain Stacy story, right? You know how the and and that uh, when Miguel O'Hare was telling him, "Hey, this is how everything works," uh, it showed a little bit of Ben uh, Ben Parker, Sh- yeah, Uncle Ben. Mm-hmm. It showed uh, the Uncle Ben dying situation, but it specifically was sh- more uh, on top of the Gwen Stacy thing. Where or like just captains. Just captains, basically. Like the, the captain, whoever, either Davis or just Stacy, it's mainly Stacy dying, and then the Spider Man's having to deal with that, right? Right. And it's showing Andrew Garfield. I feel like they're hinting at Andrew Garfield and so much that he's going to be the mentor for Miles Morales. 